Hello, and welcome to a Thursday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It is currently 9.59pm on Wednesday, July 14th in New York City, which means one minute till the Thursday crosswords. Uh, the leaderboard yesterday, we had Chris in first. Chris is always getting in first this, these days. Uh, then it was me, then we had TR and PB Geckner, Stickers, Mer Unicorn, The Glorp, and Hoopla. The, that's the whole crew at 30 seconds or under. Then we had Joe OB, The Siblings-ish, Gordo AM, and MHeat17 tied at 39. Then we had Andrew, Cape God, KFS Venta, MPS, uh, to Nomad, Joy, all under one minute. Then we had right behind Namgo, Lil Sun, Chenny, Bill Boris, ERL, Panda Doggy, J Wu, A plus B, and J. Still no Panda Gucci. Where you at, Panda Gucci? Anyway, it is now 10 o'clock, which means we should have some Thursday crosswords. So here is a spoiler alert for the Thursday mini. If you would like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play, and this one looks like a full 5x5 five five grid. All right, we're centered. Let's get into it. So if you're irate, you kids, no, lambs, uh, Isaac Newton, uh, vodka, intra, uh, as one, and TV, uh, Baker, scary, DeVry, ah, oh, man. Well, I had this one wrong anyway, as intra instead of inter. Mad TV, I didn't know that's where, uh, Key and Peel got their start. Baker and Scary. Yeah. Maybe I should have switched to the crosses sooner or something. Not sure. Alright, anyway, now for the main event. That is the Thursday Daily Grid, which is by Max Carpenter today. Here is a spoiler alert. If you would like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. Thursdays can sometimes be my favorite days. <laughs> uh, so let's see what this one has in store for us. Let's get into it. Delish. Southwest Desert Plant. Sago or something? Brown Powder. Probably not. Maybe Cocoa? Lone Star State Athlete. Aggie? Or Astro, maybe. Popular Pops. Probably Astro. Creeping with Lithic. Single out of Bar, perhaps. Is it a one? Not sure. Blank Sexy. I'm too sexy? Brass Bench sound oompa? Is that right? Showly deferential. Uh, another brown powder. Costa Rica? Popular Pops? Is it Coax? Not sure. Point a finger at Blame. Band Fave. Certifier of Music Hills for short. I think this is RAAA. Recording Industry something. Is it Idol? Neaton. Tidy Up? Is there some kind of rebus? Paleolithic? Tip? Clickable things, icons, whoops. Toy dog from Tibet. Lhasa Opso, shout out to Goomba. Uh, Southwestern newspaper that William Faulkner wants to tribute to with the. So I think there's a Y, I think there's a YU in this, in this square. Picayune something? Something Picayune? Kennel sound, arf? Or... Doc, more, could be more. Metric of grossness. Uh, ew factor? Ick factor. Ick factor is better. Delish. Classic comedy figure who sported a bowl cut. Mo? Uh, this is yum yum. This is yuck factor. Okay. So we've got some YU rebuses. This is Yuka. Nice. Okay. Certain warhead transport ICBM. Phoenix and Washington EG. Male leads, like Joaquin Phoenix and Denzel. Low college is trash. It's Carob, I think. Obey isn't. Wow, nice. Uh, Apple device around iOS. Times Pika Yoon. Uh, Afrobeat or Afrofuturism. Palm part frond. Easy two pointer. Layup. So here's the YU. Uh, this is lacrosse here. Not ready for the primetime player sh show for short. Rapper for whom Harvard's hip hop fellowship is named. This is Alto Sax, Alka Seltzer, excuse me, Pardon, using Intuition. Cultivars are known for their yellow flesh. Yukon Gold Potatoes. Nice. To be as essay, like this. Get cozy. Nestle. Some summer babies, Leos. Popular Hunt Sour Tadish. 
Tom Yum Soup, maybe? Uh, nope. Oh, uh, yes. I'm just being a bit, a bit slow. There's a YU Rebus there. Compadre. Headgear from any extreme athlete. GoPro. Using intuition. Uh, okay. This is probably Pal. This is Amos. Do some patching, say. So have own. Bonding that's tied to one's carbon footprint. Uh, something use, huh? Energy use? Then as a voice, Reedy. Hopefully not mine. Night school class ESL. Syllable set with fingers in one's ears. La la la. Repeatedly comments on. Second place at a math competition. Ah, uh, the tens? <laughs> not using profanity is clean. Where a zipper gets caught. Uh, it's like a zipper merge. It's probably SNL. Is it? Is it S O L? Not sure. Second way of viewing things figuratively. A pure seam, stage there. Would a solver might growl after catching on to this puzzle's theme. Why you little? Okay. Why you little? That's the theme. Speed trap, I think. Maybe? I like zipping as you're speeding. Genre for the mighty, mighty boss stones. Is it Scott? Symbol of highness. Focus problem for short. ADHD. The first one is an op ed here. Uh, this is Droid. Joey is a. This is Rue from Pooh. Youth is easily dece deceived. Kite there. Central concept of philosopher Zhuang Zi's technique. Zen. Small screech, for example. Actress Birch. Thora Birch. Green power option informally. Hydro. Loves it. Airs. Uh, Tao or Dao? Uh, tweet. Not sure. Mine fine. Load. A scalp has up to 200 eyes. Um, on a hunch here. Harps on. Not so cold. Uh, the other hand here. Owlet. Tau there. Naker and nicer. This is a ham. Came a spider. Is it this? Wow. Sub 5 Thursday with a rebus. But I figured out that the rebus pretty quick because of tidy up crossing times picayune. The picayune seemed kind of familiar. Yeah, so why you little? That's the revealer. And the why yous are squeezed into a, a box, of course, on the internet. These rebus squares don't seem any smaller, but if you were t if you were writing it in, it would be smaller. Yeah, I think that's a perfectly good reason to have a rebus. Um, I kind of like that it doesn't say how many rebus squares there are. There's um, five of them, and they're placed sort of haphazardly. I kind of like that because the the puzzle didn't put up so much fight otherwise. But, uh... Yeah, Yukon Gold Potatoes times Pika Yoon. Energy use. Tom Yum Soup. Yum Yum. Yum Yum. Alright, let's, uh, let's take a peek through the puzzle. Yeah, like uh, you leave a tip, you leave us a single dollar bill. Coco and Carob, at least they're in close proximity. That's reasonable. I think that's that's reasonable. This could also be clued as I guess thirteen across a substitute or something. Cokes. Yeah, shout out to my my dog friends, especially Momo, miss you Momo, but also uh, you know, Goomba, Calpico. Nate, etc. Goomba is a Lhasa Opso, so big shout out to Goomba. Hope ER all does the puzzle today. Uh, shout out to, to Jen, who loves ham. It's one of her top five favorite foods or something. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Naker, yeah, that's Mother of Pearl. That's, uh, I don't know. Which you would call it in science class or something. Interesting quote. Youth is easily deceived because it is quick to hope. Yeah, very clean. Honestly, I wish the I wish the cluing was a little bit trickier. A, a lot of this was just definition, definition, definition. That this this upper left hand corner though took a while because of the the hidden. Rebus element. Yeah, yuck factor. Intercontinental ballistic missile there. Male leads. Yeah, that's a 
a bit of a misdirect because it makes you think that it might be, I don't know, I guess cities? Oompa is okay. Obey isn't. That's sort of, sort of high language there, which I kind of like. Yeah, there's a lot of... I wanted Aggie. Texas A&M Aggies, but the Houston Astros. Sorry, the cheating Houston Astros. Yeah, this is the Recording Industry Artists of America or something, right? Recording Industry Association of America. Yeah, I think they're the ones who would uh, who would sue you back in the day if you were pir pirating music. Kema isn't great. That's a but. Yeah, so the New York Times has a limit of five letters on partials. Uh, but that's that's pretty ugly. Layup. That was a layup. Yeah, so the problem with five-letter easy two-pointers is it could be lay-up, lay-in, tip-in. Um, at least those. Put back is seven. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what the primetime player show was, so I wasn't sure if that would... Show? Oh, the not ready for primetime players, I see. I see. Okay, this is just like a, a sketch on SNL. It's pretty hard. Yeah, a zipper isn't someone who's speeding. Love Tom Yum Soup. Really like it as Phil here. And it involves the Rebus Square. That's nice. It's very nice. Shout out to Liz, who owns... I don't know. Liz, comment below with how many how many GoPros, GoPros you own. Too many. Yeah, Thora Birch helped me get the breakthrough here. Yeah, Screech is a kind of owl. That's pretty hard. That's tricky. Yeah, the tens place. Yeah. Rue is a Joey on Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, so fast Rebus puzzle for me. Let me know if you thought it was like a little bit straightforward Rebus puzzle, or maybe I just got lucky. Sometimes you just get lucky. Could have happened today. Anyway, let's take a peek at some stats. This is going to be pretty close to my best and I'm pretty sure my sometimes like the, the Thursday gimmick is actually very easy like there was one where things were reflected across a mirror or something that I did should I go look at this one you know what? <laughs> why don't we what was it 9 27 2018 let's see why 9 27 2018 was so easy yeah what I'm trying to say is this pretty fast for for Rebus Ah, uh, no. Interesting. It's really hard to tell the difference between this box and these lines, uh, but this looks like it was just... I see, but nothing really tricky, right? Just the clue is visual, as opposed to... Yeah, so I probably just... You saw this as a theme list until you get enough, and then you just... These fill in very, very quickly. Yeah, so fast Thursday, especially given the rebus element. And the leaderboard for tomorrow, who do we have so far? We have Stickers and Phil. And on the secret leaderboard, we have Andrew Cabell had emoji and Panda Doggy. Shout out to both of you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you tomorrow for some Friday puzzles. See you then.